Hi, this is Anton here at D1954. I will start with a half wave rectifier. So, as usual, we need to add a voltage source for the transformer, which was echo transformer. Connect them together. And we need to add a diode and also the R sense and also a capacitor. Connect all of them together. So we need to make sure we add the ground and also add the pin. Before the transformer, we need to ask for the transformer and also one at the loop. Okay, we need to make sure this diode is the one we use in real life, 4002. We need to change it into sinusoidal with frequency 50 Hz and 1 volt amp. We try with the ratio 1 to 2 for the transformer, and this one we try it with 1 microphone. So everything is okay, let's transient analysis. For the end display, we need to calculate based on the period. Period is calculated by 1 over 50, we get 0 0.02. Multiple of that is fine, so we choose 180. So we can see from the graph, graph uh, 1.0 volt is the input. And then after the transformer ratio 1 to 2, we get 2.0. Then the voltage drop at the diode minus 0 0.7, we get about 1.3. So what if we change the ratio of the transformer? What do we get? You can see that if we change the ratio, the input is still 1, but then the output VF2, it becomes 4 volts. So the transformer actually can increase it. So let's change this back to 2. And what if we increase the capacitance? Compared to just now one micro capacitance with 10 micro capacitance, right now the ripple is actually decreased. But not good enough. Let's increase it to 100 micro. Let's see. Right now the ripple is even lesser. You're not good enough. Let's increase it to 1000 micro. So right now it's about straight line, this is what we wanted. So let's see whether the value is it 1.3 like we said just now. Yep, it's about 1.3. So let's move to the next one. Next I'll be talking about the center tap two-way rectifier. Let's start with the resource. This one for the transformer, we need to choose the ideal transformer with center tap. Connect them. So I need to add a diode, one at the top, one at the bottom. So our sense, and also a capacitor. Connect them together. Add a ground right here, and one right here. Make sure to add the pin also. One before, and one after, one at the blue. Make sure this is the diode we use in real life for 002, and also make sure to change it into sinusoidal, same as just now. Okay, then for this one, let's try with one micro also. So we try one to two first. So we can everything is fine. Let's do transient analysis. So we can see that the input is 1.0. And even though the ratio is 1 to 2, but then there's two diodes here, it is divided by 2. So the VF2 is also 1. Then minus the voltage drop of 0 0.7, we get about 0 0.3 here. Let us see what if we increase the ratio to 1 to 4. So, like this, you can see that from 1 input, even though it's 1 to 4, divided by 2, it becomes 2. Then 2 minus by the diode 0 0.7, you get about 1.3.
So let us increase the capacitance and see what happens. Tear micro, then you see that the ripple is decreased. Let's increase again to 100 micro. Again. Okay, right now the ripple is even lesser, but not good enough. Let's increase it to 1000 micro, which is 1 mini. Again. Okay, right now this is about the graph we want, so let's see whether the value is correct. So it's about 1.3, which is what we wanted. Good. Next, I'm going to talk about the bridge full wave rectifier. As usual, we can add this. Then for the transformer, we can choose the ideal transformer. Connect them together. Then for this one, we need four diodes. Thing. We also need a uh, R sense and also a capacitor. This one, then we need a ground one here, one here, and one more right here. Okay, so make sure the diode. Or 402, which is the one we use in real life. So I'm going to start with one micro first. And for the ratio, we choose one to two. Change this to sinusoidal. that the input is one and ratio increases it to two then after that two we need to minus the voltage drop of two diodes which is 1.4 so two minus 1.4 is about 0 0.6 which is about here so let us see what happens if we increase the ratio to one to four and then this is right now we can see that if well we have one increase uh is 1.0 then after we increase it to ratio of 1, point, uh, 1 to 4, we get 4. Then minus uh, 2 voltage drop for the diodes, 4 minus 1.4 is about 2.6, which is about this value. So we increase the capacitance to make it smoother. Let's try 10 micro. Not enough. We know that 100 is not enough, but we can try. Still not enough. Okay, let's try one thousand. Okay, right now it's about that. So to see whether it's two point four, let's check. So it's two point five to about point four. Yeah, that's wrong for me. Thank you very much. Bye bye.